Hey guys, I'm Mithilesh and welcome back to Free Motion. From today onwards, I'm going to create a new series on how to create animation like Box, Soj by Mo, and Johnny Iris. Not only them, recently most of the channels are using the same animation to create their videos. So in this video, I will show you the newspaper highlighting effect inside of After Effects. I am making separate videos for each topic, so don't forget to subscribe to the channel so you guys don't miss any of them. So without wasting any more time, let's jump into the After Effects and let's get started. Alright, I already created a composition with standard settings and here are a few assets for the today's video. A random newspaper cutout and a animated paper texture. First, we need to animate the newspaper. For that, let's create a new composition and rename it. And for that composition, I am taking a higher width value because my newspaper cutout length is longer than 1080. But you can take any composition size according to your newspaper cutout. Let's bring the newspaper to the timeline and align it to the center. First of all, we can do the paper reveal animation. And for that, I am using the CC paste on effect. Double click to apply it on the layer. First, change the control to the bottom left corner. Now go to one second and change the position, something like that, where your page is completely visible. Then go to first frame and change the point somewhere like here. Here we need to create a solid layer, which will be work as the back side of the page. We can use light gray for the back side of the page. You can hide the layer and place it at the bottom. Now go to CC page turn effect and change the back page to a solid layer that we just created. Increase the back opacity by 100%. You can see it's taking the color from the solid layer. Also, you can increase the fold radius value to high value. Now open opacity property, go to the 10 frames and add a keyframe on it. Then come back to first frame and change its value to zero. I think this looks fine. Press you to see the applied keyframes, select these keyframes and press F9 to easy them. We are done with that paper reveal animation. All right, let's create our highlighting text. This is a very simple technique, but still it catches the attention like no one. First of all, just take the pen tool and create a line like this on the text layer that you wanted to highlight. If it has multiple lines, you can just create another line on the same shape layer, just like this. Adjust the lines if needed and increase the stroke width so that it covers the entire line, just like this. Then just change the blending mode to multiply. To make it more realistic, you can add an effect called roughen edges. Adjust the border value the way you want your edges to look. Also increase the edge sharpness to give it a crisp look. Also change the complexity value to 4. I think this looks fine. You can adjust the lines anytime you want. Now open the shape layer, open contents, here click on the add button and add trim path. Open trim path 1 and change the end value to 0. Then on 1 second, add a keyframe on the end, then go forward to 2 seconds and change its value to 100. Change this to individual, but here you can see it's animating on the reverse order. To fix that, just place the shape 1 layer on top of the shape 2 layer. If you want to animate lines in some specific order, you can change the layers by this way. I want one more line to be highlighted here and I'm using the same technique for this one also. I'm fast forwarding this process so you guys don't get bored. I think I should increase the timings here. Let's increase the timing by one more second for each text layer. Alright, after applying the same technique, it should look like this. This looks fine. Now select all the keyframes and press F9 to easy ease them. Here I am using the free script for the keyframes from the animation composer. You can adjust the influence value easily from here or you can do it manually just like we do on the graph editor. Like this. Just try to keep the influence value to 80%. It always takes time for doing it manually for the every keyframes. So I prefer to use this for my projects and it's really easy to use. Also it is a free script. You can get it easily from the website. After all, paper animation should look like this. Now go to the final composition and bring the newspaper composition here. First, adjust the size according to your main composition. Also change the layer to a 3D layer. Add a solid layer for the background. From one second, we are going to start the zoom in effect animation. For that, open position and rotation property. On one second, apply keyframes on all then go forward to 3 seconds and change Z axis position value to higher negative value. Change X axis rotation value to minus 20 and Y axis rotation value to minus 5 and Z axis to minus 25. You don't need to follow the exact values, you can animate it on your own way. Now you can adjust the other position values. You can hold the newspaper layer and adjust like this as well to keep the highlighted text in the center. Now go forward to 5 seconds, change the newspaper position something like this and change the Z axis rotation value to 12. 
Also, you can adjust the other rotation values. Take some time to adjust the values the way you want. These values can be different for everyone. So play with the values to get the best result. I think this is fine. On the last frame, copy the first keyframes and paste it on the last frame again. So that it goes back to your original size and the position. Once you've done, select all the keyframes and press F9 to erase them. Or you can click on this button to add the same influence value for all the curves. This looks really nice. Let's add a camera sec effect to make it more natural. For that, let's add a camera layer. 50mm preset is fine for that. Also add a null object here. Link the camera layer to the null layer. Open position property of the null layer. Then hold alt plus click on the stopwatch icon to add an expression. Then type wiggle 1 comma 10. Now you can see a little movement on the whole composition. Alright. Here you can add some camera depth effect on the newspaper. You can skip this step as well, but I want the camera to be more focused on the highlighted lines only. First open the camera layer and turn on the depth of field. Go to one second and add keyframes on focus distance, aperture and blur level. Then go forward to 3 seconds and adjust the values like this. Focus distance can be near about 2700. Aperture value may be 51, blur level may be 60%. Then go forward to 5 seconds and similarly adjust the values so the text can be more focused properly. These values can be different for yours, so I am not mentioning the exact values. After all, the animation should look like this. Perfect. Now it's time to stylize it. First add an adjustment layer. On that layer add an effect called posterize time. Change the frame rate to 12. Then add this animated paper texture. You can get the project file link from the description or you can use any other texture as well. Place it under the adjustment layer, adjust the size and change the blending mode to multiply. Open opacity property and turn down the opacity to a low value, something near about 20 and your paper highlighting animation is done. But in few cases, we can see this kind of animation in old school style like this for that you just need to apply triton effect on the composition you want like we apply it on the newspaper only like this by doing this we get the old school style effect with the highlighting effect as well so this is all for today i will try to cover this kind of demanding techniques as much as i can thank you for watching liking the video really motivates me a lot so please do like and subscribe the channel and I will see you guys in the next video. Till then have fun and stay safe guys. Bye.